Hi, Adam here, uh, and today I'm showing you the new, brand new 2024 Cruiser Twilight. This is the 26RB is the model, and there are so many amazing things that I want to share with you about the Cruiser Twilight. Now this is a Blue Compass RV exclusive. You can't get these anywhere else, and it's really, really special, so I can't wait to share it with you. So there's a lot of things that they did for the new 2024 season. One is this front cap. That is a molded one-piece fiberglass front cap, and you can see that it has some nice texture to it. Uh, so when you're going in the campground and you're just pulling up and everybody's looking at you, they're going to look at you and they're going to say, wow, that's, that's an amazing unit that guy's towing behind his truck. Uh, it's got the docking lights in front. And what that means is that when you're uh, hooking up late at night or unhooking or whatever you're doing, uh, you got plenty of light there and it also looks super attractive. They do a second pair of docking lights up at the top too. And so really sharp looking. You got two 20 pound propane tanks, power tongue jack, and then the battery case right behind that. Another thing they're doing right in the front here is they're going to put a battery disconnect right here in a very easy to find spot. So not only does it A, have a battery disconnect, but B, it also has it in a spot that's easy to reach, unlike many other brands out there. So they're actually caring for you. They actually don't want you to break your back. They want you to have a comfortable camping experience. I'm gonna go around to the camp side of the unit. You can see we got the awning out already. So you can start to imagine the camp experience that you're going to have. Uh, starting right at the front here, uh, you have a slam latch door. Slam latches are by far the most convenient style of storage door. Again, Twilight Cruiser, uh, Cruiser Twilight, what they're trying to do is to make things as convenient as possible for you. Uh, you got the extend and retract here. So this is for the electric stabilizer. No more bending on your knees, bending your back, cranking that down. All I gotta do is press that button and then boom, stabilizers go right down for you. How easy is that? It's so easy. Of course, with the fiberglass siding, you have the uh, aluminum cage construction with the twilight. Uh, and then over here, underneath your campsite, you have your freshwater tank fill, and then you also have your cable and your electric hookup. So if you do want to put a table there and put a big TV, who needs a mounted TV? Because that can only hold so much weight. When you have a TV on a, t on a, on a, on a table, that makes it so you can bring a big TV out there when you're watching the game. Everybody's gonna be crowded around you here in this unit. You're gonna be the talk of the campground. Going down to the tires, not only does it have an amazing looking aluminum wheel, but then also it comes standard with Goodyear tires. Goodyear tires are just by far the best tire there are. Uh, how many stories have you heard of blowouts? Blowouts just happen, but then when blowouts happen, not only does it ruin your day, ruins your vacation, but then also um, it just damages your unit. So that tire just starts whipping around and just slamming up against the undercarriage of your unit, and it just ruins not just your, your day, but then also your, 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 the value of your camper. So those, those China Bomb tires that other brands have just explode and they just, they just don't give you a good time, they'll give you a good experience. So Goodyear tires pre-installed are protecting your investment and giving you good camping experiences. Continuing on, uh, they have a, not only the one year uh, bumper to bumper warranty that you get, but you also get a three year structural warranty when you go with a Cruiser Twilight. Uh, also you do have the four season uh, extended RVing package and so you have an upgraded insulation in here so if you are trying to go in those late fall those early spring days uh, you can absolutely do that in this RV which you can't in, you can't in all of them and you also get the on-the-go ladder and so you, you it is prepped for a ladder if need be uh, and then you also have a very compact outdoor kitchen scenario here uh, so you're not wasting a whole bunch of space with empty space on the inside of your unit the inside of your unit of course uh, what do they say? They say uh, inches in campers are like feet in a house, you know? So uh, you don't want to waste so many square inches with a huge outside kitchen. With Cruiser Twilight, they knew that, and they're giving you all the essentials in a tiny little package here. And so you have a griddle that comes out. You'll flip that over. You'll do, what do you think, two pancakes. You can do a full pound of bacon. You can do, I don't know, five eggs. This is, you can cook for the whole family all in one spot here. You don't need multiple different trips to the griddle. And then also you have an outdoor fridge. So, uh, I don't know, sodas for the kids, adult beverages for the adults. Sounds like a good time right there. Uh, and then uh, as we're entering the, uh, the Cruiser Twilight 26RB, we have the uh, Moor Ride uh, Step Above Stairs. Very stable storage stairs, uh, along with this nice grab handle. Very easy to get into the unit. 
Uh, so now it's a 26 RV. What does that mean? 26 feet and is the box. So probably 29, 30 feet total. And then it's an RV. So it's a rear bath. Rear baths are always notably have a bigger bathroom. So uh, if you like a spacious bathroom, if you like to have a place to put your legs, if you like to be able to maybe, I don't know, change in your bathroom, uh, RVs are usually the way to go. So uh, come on in. So as you enter the unit, you can see the theater seats. That's the first thing that you look at. The theater seats, This is the, they are actually doing a Thomas Paine theater seat. These are very, very comfortable seats. Uh, and they, they, they recline super easy. Might as well demonstrate, why not, right? So on this parachute cord, you pull out and then boom, uh, very comfortable. Like if, if I want to really lounge, this is the way to do it. The theater seats are just key. And then if you were to come around here, what you would see is that you've got a nice big TV across from those theater seats, so it's a, a sensible spot to put the TV. You don't gotta be turning your head some weird way or something like that. Uh, and then this nice stand for decor, or like I can imagine some, uh, it's, it's about to be fall soon. People are talking about pumpkin spice lattes and things like that. I can imagine like a nice, uh, nice fall decor right here. And then right beneath that, you have the sound bar. And so that's gonna be an incredible audio experience for you and your camper, which is always nice. I love my music, I love my surround sound. And then beneath here, you have more storage, which is amazing. Beneath that, you have your electric fireplace. So you can change the color on that electric fireplace to change the ambiance. But then also, it puts out lots of good heat. And it's nice to have that supplemental electric form of heat because the propane form of heat, which is ducted all throughout the unit, that's great. But the propane is on your dime. The propane is a limited resource that you have. Then you got to go fill it up someplace. You don't have to do that all the time. So with the electric source of heat, you can put out, you take the, take the chill out of the air, take the bite out of the air, all the while of just doing it from the plug-in. So you don't got to go and fill up your propane tank a se several times. Uh, and then, so why don't we just go right into the bathroom next? Because this is, this is the star of the show with the RVs. And so uh, you got the toilet here, you got the stool, and right in front of the stool you have plenty of space for your legs. This is a, going to be a comfortable spot to do your business. On top of that, you're looking over here, you have so much counter space right there. That's for your soap, your toothbrushes, washcloths, whatever you need on top. There's plenty of space for the entire family's things. Uh, you got lots of cabinet space beneath you there. And I mean, part of the part of the thing with the twilights, which I, I just, I, I'm just not gonna be able to talk about it enough, is their interior design. I mean, look at this updated, innovative design they have in terms of their interior. Everything is bright. Everything is white. This is just an amazing experience. I feel clean just standing, just sitting in here. I feel cleaner just because this is such a clean look. More cabinet space up here. Cabinets, cabinets, they got you covered. The big thing about cabinet space, so many of my first time buyers, they, they say to themselves, listen, uh, I, uh, I, I didn't know. I didn't know how much storage space I would actually need until I actually started camping. And then you know what that, um, Manufacturers like the Cruiser uh, Twilight, they got you covered. They're trying to handle that objection even before it arises. Going around here, you have lots of spots in here for your towels and things like that. And so, um, in almost like a decorative way of, of accessing storage space. And then you have this big shower. It looks like a 36 by 30 maybe. Plenty of space for my head. I'm a six foot two man I'm with shoes on right now. Lots of space for me. And then they also have this residential style of shower head. Uh, not everybody's doing that for you. The big thing about Twilight's residential. The big thing about Twilight's innovative interior design. Um, so uh, one of my Twilight buyers, uh, so you had uh, just last year, we had uh, the husband came in and he said, you know what? I really want to camp, but my wife, she wants to stay in a hotel. So what do you have for me? I knew right away that the Twilight was the way to go because while other brands are focusing on having a camping sort of interior, a camping sort of vibe, what the Twilight does is they give you a hotel vibe, a hotel interior uh, in a camper. And so you can make the wife happy in this case, and then also the husband happy. Continuing on to the kitchen, what we have here is a lot of counter space. So you can see that this goes so deep, plenty of space for your uh, coffee pot. Your, if you wanna bring a toaster, feel free. Um, plenty of space for, let's say you're like me and you don't do all your dishes at once. Lots of space to have your dishes stacked to the side of there. Um, huge cutting board for a sink cover. And then you have a deep, wide sink there too. So that's a huge cutting board that comes complimentary for you. And you have a three burner stove along with the, uh, with the, the splash guard. 
um, along with, and again, I'm, I'm not going to be able to overstate the interior design. This backsplash is just to die for. The white, the white, but then also the contrasting medium to dark brown, but then the bright floors again. This is just an amazing, amazing unit. Uh, you have a 12 volt refrigerator and so this means you can see I have the battery plugged in and that's all and it's on right now. That means when you're traveling down the road and hooked up plugged into your truck you're going to be able to have this on the entire way so you can load up before you go and then when you get to the campground it's still all going to be cold uh, which is amazing. Yeah, turbo cooling, frost free. That's fantastic and you got your microwave up top. Also great to have popcorn. Uh, I love my popcorn and I have it every single trip I go out. Um, and then so you got the dinette here. Uh, the dinette, you, what you have here is a two post dinette, plenty of space. And this is, this is not, uh, this is a one, um, what do they call this? Uh, when it's all one piece like that, what that means is that the, it's, it, there's no uh, place for uh, dirt and debris to get into. So it's just this, this one sheet, this one piece of table, uh, which is just nice. It's a nice look and it matches the look of the countertop over there. On top of that, this, this, this upholstery is just to die for. This is amazing. You have a leatherette that's combined with a cloth, and then they use a stripe of that leatherette into the cloth. This is just such an attractive design. And then what they do here is they, can, instead, of just, um, instead of just stopping it where the box ends underneath the dinette, they continue uh, to go beyond uh, where the, the box ends. And what that does is it gives you more seating space. And so you can easily seat two people in this dinette instead of feeling cramped. You're going to feel like you have plenty of room. Okay, moving on. Uh, I want to, while I'm still in this room, I want to bring up that you do have two air conditioners in this unit. So not only do you have one Coleman Mac AC over here, you have a second one in the bedroom and it's all ducted throughout. And so you have lots of opportunity to keep you cool in a 30 foot long unit. Some manufacturers only give you one AC standard. Some will step up and give you that two air conditioning air conditioning unit standard. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sweating a little bit right now. This is set to early September, and it's going to be very, very hot here today. And so uh, we would honestly need both air conditioners today in order to actually feel comfortable running um, to uh, keep this unit cool. So they're looking out for you there. If anybody's like, you know, I'm in Connecticut right now, but if you're trying to just travel south at any time, you're going to need both those ACs 100%. You can see the nice white cabinetry above there too. Another thing that Cruiser does, another thing that Twilight does, is you have a king bed facing north to south with a no slide unit. Nobody else does this. Uh, everybody else is going to just give you a queen bed at best, sometimes a short queen. Uh, so to have a king bed, king size bed in a travel trailer, so often people come in, they said, I want a travel trailer, I want a king size bed. It's like, well, you can pay, you know, $60,000 for uh, for and you need a F uh, F two fifty in order to tow something that that has that king size bed, or you can come in with an F one fifty and have a significantly less of a budget and still get that king size bed. And the best part about that is this is that it's a the, the slide sort of system on the bed. And so what that means is that you can push the entire frame of the bed to one side or the other. And look how easy this is. Uh, so what that means is that I can push it to that side and then look. I don't have to be doing yoga in order to make the bed. I can just make the bed with a little gentle reach there. I make this side, and then guess what? I pull it back over, and then I go over to the other side, and then I make this bed too. I reach down there and I make that. So very easy to make the bed, even though it's a king size bed uh, in a 30 foot long travel trailer. All this is just unheard of. Uh, you can see that they do a very, very nice job with the cabinetry here too. Same white cabinetry along with, the, with, that, with that nice accent piece in the middle. You have the reading lights on both sides there, a nice shelf for any of your, any of your decor, any books, or anything that you want to keep bedside. And then, um, I don't know if it's possible for you for the camera to see this, but you really have to see this. Uh, you have extra cabinet space right here, and so you have drawers, small drawers, big drawers. You even have a bigger uh, drawer there, and you have uh, cabinets here. And so you have like so other units just don't have this, and what that means is that you don't have space for your clothes. You got to put them underneath the bed or something, some sort of um, like less accessible sort of place. Cruiser Twilight makes it so that you actually have space for your things. Um, and then so we'll look under underneath there. They give you an extra little storage spot uh, underneath there as well. This year they've added these little handles here to make pulling the slide, the frame, a little bit easier. So that's a huge addition that they've done. Um, 
So, uh, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to let me know in the comments below what you think about the Cruiser Twilight. Did you buy already? If, if so, let me know what your experiences were in this unit and tell others um, what, you, what you like about it. So feel free to like this video, subscribe, uh, and also click that notification bell to get notified when I make videos like this in the future. Thanks so much. Take care.